I've just got to NCAT Laboratory at Loughborough University where we're going to learn all about combustion engines. There's a real art and a science to mixing air and fuel and it's really complex and someone who's going to explain this to me is Dr Kat Gardner who has kindly let us into these amazing labs. You're a combustion engineer right Kat? That's right I'm a, I'm a combustion experimentalist as well so I literally play with fire uh, on my on my day to days um, but yeah so welcome to the National Centre for Combustion and Aerothermal Technology. You're going to have to take me right back to basics. You're on a plane yeah. There are these two giant things hanging off each wing. That's the jet engine, right? That's the jet engine. Which part of that engine are you concerned with? So my part is right in the middle. It's right in the heart of the engine. Okay. And I've got a diagram over there that I can take you through. Please. The front of the engine, you've got the fan. The fan is a very large blade. And so that pushes a lot of air into the compressor. And it spins. And it spins really fast. And then what you get to is my combustor. This is a fuel spray nozzle, just to give you a, a, a scale which fits in our combustor. Fuel's coming out of this end, Mixing air's with air that's coming out of it. Yeah, well, air's coming out of here as well. So we use the air to help break it up into smaller droplets, pushing those together and trying to figure out what's the best way to, to make them interact, to get the droplet sizes that you want and get the mixing that you want as well. We have to spend some time using lasers, for example, that we've got next door Ooh. to, exactly. Can we have a look? I can show you. Cool. This is the, the laser that we use. What we've got here is we've got a laser beam which goes into this periscope and up through this light arm, which is, helps to enclose that very powerful light. And then at the other end of the light arm, we've got some optics which turn the light beam into a sheet. The sheet actually interacts and you get a, a scatter of light that we take a photograph of. I'm sorry, of. you're reminding me of an air hostess with your... <laughs> I am an air hostess. I mean, we're in, it's all aviation at the end it of the is, day. It is, it is, it is. <laughs> so you're actually scattering light into this kind of like, rather than a beam, yeah. you're kind of spreading it out. Let's take some pictures of lasers. Absolutely, let's do it. I'm going to need to set that up. <laughs> that sheet of laser light bounces off the fine mist of olive oil in the air as it leaves the fuel spray nozzle. And that all makes the fluid flow patterns visible. When we've got this data, we run it through the algorithm and we create these vector maps. I'd love to see those vector maps you're talking about. So that's the actual photograph. Yeah. And then you put it into an algorithm and yeah. it creates a pretty picture yeah. represented by colors and arrows. What we're looking at is the flow coming out of the fuel spray nozzle. So you can see the area here is going this way and you can see it going this way as well. So this is an average image of our 500 image pairs that we've taken. You can see on here that the arrows are actually going back up into the fuel injector. And that's what happens when you have a swirling flow. Is that flow. good? It is good. What we need to do now is we need to start looking at it with combustion. Finally, show me the heat. Sure, it's over there. <laughs> this is Simon and he's running this rig for Hi, us Simon. at the moment. Uh, and Rob is also doing the uh, emissions. And eating an apple. <laughs> and eating an apple. Busted. We've got to keep our people well fueled. Well fueled. Well fueled. Exactly. We like that, but not combusting. <laughs> not combusting, hopefully. That happens there. It does, absolutely. So, what you can see here is the combustion chamber of the rig. This one is a single sector. So, in a jet engine, we've got, say, 18 or 20 injectors, which are all in a donut. Ah, uh, okay. So, you're kind of faking the rest of the engine yeah. just so that you can look at the piece of the donut. Yeah, and we can measure what pollutants we're getting. The artificial intelligence will be trained on how to operate the heater. It's like a Star Wars spaceship. These two screens here, they wrap around, there's like dials and graphs and they're all moving in real time. It's very hot in here, it's even hotter there. So we're gonna have to wait for it to cool down. Maybe we can cool down as well. Cup of tea? Cup of tea. A few moments later. We've been waiting for the experiment to cool down. It's now uh, safe for us to be in here and be able to open it up, Kat, right? Yeah, absolutely. I've got a couple more bolts to do, so Shin is going to help me out with that. Thank you very much. Oh, you know. my, my beautiful assistant. <laughs> and all the way. Keep going. I might use my hands. You should be able to, might need a bit of leverage. Because there used to be a bit of wood. Push the whole thing. Yeah, it used to be a bit of wood. Simon. How many engineers does it take for? There you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. So we just need to move it open like this. Ooh. Do you know, you can smell burning metal. The hot metal and fuel. 
Mm. So we can take out the fuel spray nozzle, which is mounted inside. You're going to change bits and bobs. Yes, I am. And that's because, you know, you've done an experiment. You kind of want to see what happens if you tweak it. After all the experiments that we've been seeing running today, Kat's going to do it all over again together with the team. Absolutely. Yet more research, yet more data, and it's all towards just making better engines, right? Better, more fuel efficient, more sustainable, more environmentally friendly engines that will take you on your holidays. Going to need a holiday after this. <laughs>